In this video, we're going to solve example 2.5. Example 2.5 says a boy runs down a ramp with a constant forward acceleration along the slope that is equal to 1.6 meters per second squared. If his velocity now is 7 meters per second, what was his velocity 3 seconds ago? Let's start this off by drawing a picture just to orient ourselves to the situation. So here's a ramp, and here's a boy who's running down the ramp. And we're going to say that running down the ramp, because we're given this in the problem, is the positive direction. Okay, if his velocity as he runs down the ramp is positive 7, that means that going down the ramp is positive. So he's accelerating as he goes down the ramp, and we know that his velocity now is 7. So that's going to be the second velocity in the problem. The first one is the velocity at the very start, 3 seconds ago. So we'll say that that's equal to 7.0 meters per second. We're asked to find the velocity that occurred three seconds ago, so we don't know what that is, and the time between the first instant and the second instant, you're also given that's going to be three seconds. And again, the acceleration, you're also given that's going to be a positive 1.6 meters per second squared or meters per second every second. And I think if you think of it as meters per second every second, you can actually solve this one without even really going to the equation. Why don't we uh, try that first? If we made a table that showed us the time and also showed us the velocity, we know that at time 3, the velocity is 7. That's given to us. But what was the velocity one second ago when the time was 2? So we know that he's accelerating at 1.6 meters per second every second. So if we subtracted 1.6 meters per second from these 7 meters per second, we would get 5.4. So one second ago, his velocity was slower. It was 5.4 meters per second. Two seconds ago, when the time was equal to 1, we'd subtract another 1.6 meters per second. That would get us down to 3.8. And then finally, if we get back to the instant that we're interested in, three seconds ago, we'll subtract another 1.6 meters per second, and that gets us to 2.2. And that would be our answer. Now, if you're more comfortable using an equation, uh, we can do that. We have a formula for average acceleration, and we know that that is the change in velocity divided by the change in time. And we have all the information here except for that initial velocity. So we know that the average acceleration it's given to us is 1.6 positive, and that's going to be equal to 7 minus v1 all over 3. Solving this, we would multiply both sides by 3. You get uh, 4.8 is equal to 7 minus v1 and doing a little bit of algebra rearranging, we get to the same answer that we had before, which is V1 is equal to a positive 2.2 meters per second. And that is how we solve example 2.5.